Hey everyone, Techni here with something a little bit different today and pretty cool actually. We're gonna be covering a PC cooler. And the cooler we have here today is a Scythe Mugen 5 Revision B right here and this will work on AMD or Intel builds. Now if any of you have been here for a while, you've seen me upgrade and change my PC around quite a bit and all I have really ever used as far as cooling has been the Corsair H60 AIO. And I've honestly had great results using it, right? Stag temps around 30 38 to 40, in-game temps around 50 to 53, never going above. So I was honestly a little bit scared uh, trying this thing out and put it in my PC, right? Because I've had such great results with this. But now again, first off, what I want you to think about here is again, we're talking right under 50 bucks, 48 bucks, give or take. You talk this guy, you're looking around more or less around $80. Now we also have one of their RGB fans right here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using this, but the really cool thing about the fans, this one here or the one that's in the box, they are PWM fans and they also range from like 300 to 1200 right there so it's really nice you really tone it down in your bios and get it nice and quiet or or louder and faster to really kind of complement your build and as far as your cooling within your case so anyways let's go on and pop this thing open and see i mean by the way pretty big box here a little bit lofty right so first off we have all of our wow that doesn't sound that doesn't sound fun let's see what all this is this this honestly doesn't sound fun here so not too bad. Oh dear, there there it goes. Now, now I'm gonna be missing a piece. All right, so actually not bad at all. They give you some Intel pieces and then your AMD pieces. They actually give you a tube of thermal paste in here too. I mean, how awesome is that? That is super cool right there. Your back plate right over here, which has rubber gaskets on it as well. Really cool touch. And they give you a pretty serious screwdriver right here. I mean, come on, this is no joke. So here's our fan. Here is our fan that comes in, and again, PWM right here, and it's really nice on all the four corners, as you can see here, the front and the back, you have these very nice big rubber gaskets. There we go, look, I can pop one off. If you can see that right there, check out that rubber gasket. Really, really nice. It's gonna really calm down that vibration or anything like that going right against the uh, cooler there. Very nice quality, feels very durable as well. You can't get any flex on it. Very nice fan here. All right, so let's get to the meat and potatoes here. Let's check this thing out. Oh dear, oh dear, it looks like a stinking car engine or something. I can't get it out. Ah, jeez, holy smokes. Look at this stinking thing. What the heck? It sure does look cool, doesn't it? I mean, look, imagine this thing in the PC. All right, so let's just take a moment to kind of take this in here. I mean, look at this big guy. I know I'm focusing on the wrong thing, right? It shouldn't be about aesthetics here. It's all about performance, <laughs> but I'm sorry. This thing looks incredibly stinking awesome, and I think it's gonna look so cool in the PC. It looks like a big muscle car uh, radiator or something like that, you know what I mean? Gosh, this thing looks so cool. All right, all right, all right. Let's go on and get the PC up here. Let's get the PC up here and get the, I mean, I just can't get over how cool this thing looks. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I'm probably sounding incredibly cheesy here. This is my first time using one of these again. And I just think it looks incredibly cool. By the way, it's pretty heavy. It feels incredibly durable as well. All right, so we have the PC up here. As you can see, I have my Corsair AIO right up there, and we have our little hoses over here. So kind of just an example. As you can see, this is gonna, gonna kind of be plopping in there. We're gonna be removing those hoses and everything. Uh, by the way, as far as my PC build, just a quick reference before we get installed, and I have the fan in the back, the exhaust, two up top, 120s by the way, two, a, I have a uh, pull push on the AIO right up here, and then I have a 140 right in the front, that's pretty much all for the 5700 XT right there. By the way, I am not gonna use the thermal paste that came with the cooler right here, I'm gonna use the same thermal paste I used on the AIO right there, which is the Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste, just to kind of make it fair and balanced across the board.
All right, whew, we are finally done there. Now, no, it wasn't a really hard install. The only thing that threw me off, um, whenever I was taking it off here, the back plate of the motherboard fell off. So, <laughs> I mean, that was hard kind of holding that whenever you had to get the, uh, the mounting bracket on. For this guy, you had to hold that back plate on right there. So, I don't know, that was the only tricky part for me. I'm sure there was some sort of... Uh, quick little easy maneuver to do, but I don't know, that threw me off. The other thing I would recommend, uh, getting your, checking where your CPU fan header is right there, because mine was right far in the back right there behind this thing. So maybe connect that before you get this down in there. That was the only thing that kind of really threw me off as far as the install. A couple other kind of tips and tricks. Watch out with the fan. It's going to stick out just a little bit above the cooler right here because you have that bolt right down underneath there. So it just sticks up a little bit right there. It doesn't look bad by any means. It still looks pretty good. But all in all, the install was pretty much straightforward and very, very easy. So as you can see, I did a few changes within my PC putting this in. Number one, I removed the Corsair H60 AIO right here and I actually removed one more fan. If you recall, I had that pull push right up front here. Now I got that 140 right down below, which again is taking care of the graphics card right down there. And then I have the 120 up here that's pushing into this. And this is also going to be pulling through there. And then we're going to be pulling out the exhaust. Now I have two fans right up top. Let me see if I can tilt this back. You can see a little bit better. There you go. You can see the two right up there. So I think we're going to be having a pretty good uh, cooling right here. Cause again, we're pulling in fresh right here, pushing through. And then this one fan right up here is almost right on it. So that's also going to be pulled it off it as well so we should have some pretty good results one other thing i want to point out as well as you can see we use the flex 120 their rgb fan we put right up there really cool touch actually so if you don't have a, a header free in your pc right there they give you the little uh, molex deal right here and this actually can power up your fan now of course it's going to run at full speed that way that way which is kind of a stinker but it's really cool that they give you this option in case you don't have any headers in there also the fan works by the uh, motherboard rgb as far as msi gigabyte Asus, uh, ASRock, and all that stuff. But um, I got it connected into my actually hub in the back, and I'm hoping it'll actually control through that. I'm not sure if it will. It'll be awesome if it does, but if not, I got ASRock uh, motherboard, and we'll just connect it that way. But anyways, let's get to the fun part and actually test out some games. I'll be back with you guys tomorrow. I'm going to play some games for the rest of the day. Actually, I guess I got to clean up this mess first. All right, I am back. It's actually been two days. I meant to come back right after uh, the first day of testing, but I got so sucked into gaming, new Call of Duty and the Outer Worlds coming out. I mean, that Call of Duty, I am absolutely hooked on. It is fantastic. The campaign's amazing. I'm over here talking about games when I should be talking about the cooler. And as you can see, it's been two days and I still haven't cleaned up my mess. I've been so hooked into that game. But anyways, as far as the synth Mugen 5 Revision B cooler right here, I have me a couple notes. And again, just kind of a refresher coming back. I don't know if you guys need a refresher. You're probably just watching this a minute ago. But for me, maybe I just need to refresh myself, right? So I got some notes here. Again, coming with the AIO, as you can see, came out here. We have the uh, hoses right there. You actually got to power the pump in there and then the fans that were on there we have. So again, just kind of seeing the installation coming from what we had before into this big guy right here. Now. One thing I want to cover before we actually start talking about the results that I noticed actually using this fan compared to the AIO, it's just the amount of space it takes up within the PC. It's not a bad thing. I mean, I think this thing looks incredibly awesome. It really does. But again, uh, the day after I actually installed this, my new NVMe came in and I had to go down here and install it right down there. And I don't want to take it all out and everything, but to get my graphics card out, the little latch that locks in right there is actually up underneath the fan right there. So I had to go get a flathead screwdriver, get it in there and kind of just undo that lock or that little latch right there so that was kind of a stinker so again my kind of point right here is it just takes up a little more space right there makes it a little bit tighter kind of working around your pc and everything as you can see bam it's like right up here on this other fan again not bad but just letting you know that it does make your pc a little bit tighter to kind of work around all right so let's talk about some results here right now now i did not go into bios and create a special fan curve for this and anything i left it on standard how it was with the aio and then again standard with this right here and again going back to my notes right here stag or just browsing and everything before with the aio we were around 38 to 40 right there. Pretty stinking good, right? And it got a little weird here. Again, sitting a uh, stag or just browsing with this guy, it was 40 to 42. Not a massive jump. Again, our peak with the other, with the AIO was 40, and this guy right here, we're right at 40 to 42. So not a big jump, really anything to really even kind of question. Not at all. But the thing that got really interesting here is when we started gaming. And let me tell you what, these numbers really shocked me. Again, gaming with the AIO right there, 
50 to 53, gaming with the AAO. Now gaming with the uh, Mugen 5 Revision B right here, the air cooler we have installed, we got 47 to 54. And speaking about the high we got on this guy right here, the 54 when the high on the AIO was 53, that 54 was very rare. Again, I was usually right down there, you know, low 50s, 51-ish, you know, if, if something like that. The 54 was very rare, kind of when I had the download go in the background. And again, these numbers are Destiny 2, Fortnite, and then also playing a new Call of Duty whether it be the campaign or the multiplayer, as well as when I was playing Fortnite with Call of Duty downloaded in the background, still getting these great numbers. I mean, wow, are you serious? We got better results with the uh, air cooler right here. Again, this is my first time testing them and everything. Again, I was using a pretty small AIO here. You can get the one with the two fans and then actually get four fans on. So maybe it'll be a little bit better right there. But again, going from this to this and getting, you know, pretty much not these drastic amazing different results but we got better results so hey better is better but the whole catch here is this thing cost half as much as that and again that was as the exact same fan settings in bios i didn't go in and tweak anything actually the fan running on the cooler right here was running at 750 rpm right there so it wasn't cranked up it was not loud by any means and the cool thing about this you actually have a slot right back here and they give you some extra brackets right down here in my mess so you can actually get another fan and just clip it on the back right there you can actually use any fan i could use the fans i had right here and actually attached it to that so you can again get a uh, what would we call that a uh, push pull push pull configuration right and this is pulling right back here too so we could even get it even better but that's what really shocked me again the results and then the very low sound again over here i was using that uh, pull push configuration on it so i had a whole nother fan in there which i eliminated out and now you can see it almost looks like i got a whole empty spot over here right like i don't know i need to put something there you know so it kind of cleared up that space over there added this little bit of space right over here you know what i mean but again the results of it being so quiet it and just the results it's like I mean a complete win here for sure now one thing I want you to keep in mind your results may not be the exact same as mine heck they might be better but yeah they might be worse maybe using different fans or a different case or something like that you may have better flow in the front of your case with mine if you can see right there in the camera you only have that little slit in the side so if your case is pulling all that air inside I mean you're gonna get even better results but as far as my build like we talked about before I have a 120 up here and then that 140 coming right down here just for the 5700 XT right there as far as I got that reference design right so that's kind of handling all that up there so all this air up here is pretty much just taking care of you know the the cpu the ram and all that stuff right that 120 is blowing fresh into here pulling that fresh right through the cooler right here and then bam right out and then i got that 120 that's pretty much as you can see right here right on top of it just about so again we got fresh coming in right here and then bam we're spitting it out from the side and the top right there but again just keep that in mind just because i'm saying these numbers right here does not mean they're the exact same numbers you're going to get you may have a different cpu you different graphics card and all this stuff and again the biggest uh judge will be as far as your case and your basic airflow inside of there you know but you can kind of take this as an idea and if you got the same type of setup right here you know kind of get this flow and get these kind of results but really all in all the biggest factor i think is going to be your case do you have the vents on the top and everything do you have the holes on the back right here and all this nice airflow as far as intake and everything i could probably use some more intake on the front as it's just going on the side right there you know so again i think the biggest factor is going to be your case all right so all in all my take on the mugen 5 revision b right here air cooler i mean i love this thing i highly recommend it again with these results i tested this right here with you guys this is my first time using one of these right so i i had no idea what to expect bam slapped it in there and hoped for the best right crossed my fingers and wow i'm just incredibly shocked with the results as far as the price again you're getting it for half the price of this guy right here does this guy look cooler I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, with the tubes and everything going through there, it looked pretty cool. I got, I got to admit, right? Um, the RGB that you get on the little, uh, on the pump right there, it looked pretty cool. But I think this honestly looks a whole lot cooler. You get that other RGB fan right there. I don't know. I think it looks super cool. They got different colored ones, the black ones and whatnot. They even have bigger ones. And I'm really excited to kind of test some of those out. They got ones that like take up the whole little bit right here, right? Where you have a fan on the uh, on the back, the middle, and the front. Like, wow, what kind of results will we get with that? The other thing, I don't know, with me, like AIOs, I, me being fairly new to PC building and stuff like that, they always just kind of worried me. Would something ever happen? Highly unlikely, you know what I mean? But would the liquid 
You can kind of hear it in there. Would that liquid ever evaporate in there? I, I don't know. Again, I highly doubt. Maybe after, uh, you know, some amount of years or something like that, I'd probably actually upgrade it by then. But um, again, you kind of got to worry about the liquid in it, your fans that you have on this, and then your pump. So you have three deals that you actually have to worry about there. Right here, what you have to worry about really is your fan attached to it. I mean, this big old metal thing, that's, there's no moving parts or anything crazy like that in it right here. You pretty much gotta worry about your fan. So, I mean, just kinda compile all that in one right there. You got that peace of mind as far as worry-free, right? You got that, you're saving money. I think it looks better, in my personal opinion. I think it looks stinking cool, you know what I mean? And just the simplicity of it. I love it and I highly, highly recommend it. But hey, let me know down in the comments what kind of cooler you use and what kind of results you get as well, you know, along with your processor and stuff like that, because I'm really curious. Again, I really like this. We're kind of learning here with each other. Again, my first time kind of doing this with you guys. You guys have seen these results and wow, I mean, just awesome. But I really like to hear what you use and what kind of results you get as well. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. It was really fun. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I really, again, I just real giddy here. I really love doing videos like this where I'm just completely just like, I don't know what I'm doing, you know what I mean? I think they're really fun and kind of seeing those results and everything, just learning together. I think it's really fun. But hey, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.